Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Thank you so very much for joining. We are back here again with another update, guys. As usual, guys, I always got your back. Yeah, so we are back and this is the first two of Tema Runabout. I know you've, you've known a lot about this project and today I'm going to try and cover for you all the dimensions of this project. Who is responsible? Who are the contractors? How much does it cost? How long is it going to take? So stay tuned. Watch the video to the end. Give this video a thumbs up, guys, because I know automatically you love this video. Give it a thumbs up and if you are new here consider subscribing hit on the bell to be notified every single moment we upload a new video thank you so much guys let's now dive straight into this amazing update over here so this second phase guys of the construction of the tema motorway runabout phase two uh, was expected to commence in September last year following the signing of a 3.35 billion yen uh, grant facility between the government of Ghana and the government of Japan, acting through the Japan International Cooperation Agency, which is abbreviated as the JICA. The first two of the project uh, was supposed to see the construction of a third tier flyover, which will be a composite bridge structure from Harbour Road to Ashaiman on the N2. And we can see, guys, that that is exactly what is going on and that is what these contractors have been working for, working towards day in and day out and i'm so much thrilled with the far that this construction has become uh this uh this construction guys is also going to bring to completion the construction of a three-tier interchange at the Tema motorway runabout. And I hope you are loving every detail, you are loving the progress, you are loving this coverage, guys. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, even as I take you through more details on the same, same project. This amazing project, guys, is uh, so amazing. And uh, the work here is being undertaken by the MES JFE Engineering Corporation, which involved the construction of a composite bridge and ramps and auxiliary roadworks of a total length of 1.75 kilometers between the Harbour Road Ashaiman. Other works include the construction of drainage and safety facilities, such as uh, the barriers and also road signs. And of course, uh, in every road, the quality is all, uh, must always also include the installation of the streetlights. And guys, uh, you are going to find out that the moment this is complete, like everything is now done, I bet you it's going to be very, very beautiful, right? It's going to be an amazing, amazing work. So many of you are waiting for this update. And here we are, guys, as we are going to do a lot of coverage. And I'm giving you every single detail of this project, guys. And I know you are going to love it. For those who are really wondering and wanted to know what is the importance of this project, guys, let me tell you upon the completion, this project will make it easier for the Tema Harbor to clear goods quickly. It's also going to end just at the Tema runabout. As you know, that place is always, always hectic, guys, with traffic. And this project is coming in handy as it's going to really, really reduce the traffic around that area. It's also going to improve trade integration and economics growth in the ECOWAS sub-region. Yeah, so if you didn't know, this project is as important, like we really, really needed this project, guys. It is also going to lower the cost the cost of doing business in Ghana by lowering vehicle operating cost. It's also going to reduce traveling time, of course. 
it's going to really, really reduce the traveling time as it's going to provide an alternative route to different, different parts of the country. And it's also going, guys, to really improve the mobility. So you can see how important these project is no one should say oh we don't know why these projects are happening you know we have reasons as to why these projects has to take place here in our country and we are really much proud i'm really really looking forward guys for this project to be completed wow it's going to really improve the beauty of this area. It's going to really help, guys. It's also going to reduce the traveling cost. You know, even the cost, it is really going to reduce. And we can't really wait for it. For those who will be uh, relying on these routes, if you are going to be using this route, I know you should be very, very much proud of yourself. And as usual, I always ask you guys, are you... Uh, have you been to this area recently? Have you been, have you seen this project recently? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know uh, what you think about the second phase of this project. I know I've been, I've been talking much about the second phase of the Tema Runabout, guys. And some of you are watching me for the very first time, so you don't know much about the first phase of this runabout. I have a video. I did a video on it. You can always go back and check it on my on my, um on my channel here guys but uh there is a uh, there's also i can give you some little dimension on this project guys the first phase of the project uh, uh which was funded with japanese grant of approximately 55.6 million us dollars guys yeah it was approximately 55.6 million just as i have said and it commenced on july 27th of 2018 and was successfully completed on april 2020 yeah so the uh, the, the first phase, you can see it. It's very nice. Go watch it on my channel still. And you are going to really, really love the kind of work that these people are doing. The coverage is so clear and the internet never forgets, guys. So just go and watch it on my channel there. You are going to love every single bit of it. Yeah, so I hope you are loving this content, this up, uh, update, guys, that I'm giving you. And... um the drone is really doing you enough justice. It's really showing you every single bit of it, the progress. Actually, this is the latest update on the Tema Runabout Phase 2. And I know most of you really want a follow-up on this project until it is done. And I am here. I got you. I got your back. I'm going to show you every single bit of it. Just show me some love, guys, by subscribing to Joy Lee's channel. And then, and then you are also allowed to turn on the bell so you'll be notified every single moment we upload a new video. Okay? Yes. So... This is the update for those who have been asking for it for the longest time possible. Here we are, and I hope you are loving it, right? Drop a comment, by the way. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd really want to read those comments. I want to know what you think about the Tema Runabout second phase. Some people I know will come to the comment session for me and tell me, oh, this is not Ghana. You are showing us videos that are not from Ghana. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot go to any country and, and do a coverage of a project going on and then bring it to you to watch it, right? You know so well I can't do that. You know so well that I am not that kind of a person, okay? I don't chase clouds. No, I am providing you the details. I don't fake anything. I give you the exact update on the projects that are actually happening here. The last time I was here, which was last year, guys, I did the coverage of this second phase. And I can tell you that there is something that they have like they have been working day and night. They have been working on this project. It took me so long to come and do this coverage again, guys, because here is the reason. I wanted when I come back, let me give, let me get if they have at least done something on it that can uh, give us a, a very good distinction between the, the last update that I did and the other and and the current one okay that's why i took so much time i've been passing and seeing the project happening but i wanted to uh, at least 
give you something substantial for you to see. Yeah, that is why we are here. And I am very much sure that you can tell so well, guys, that these people have been working day and night. And on this project, by the way, you are going to see Ghana, Ghana flag and Japan flag, okay? There is a Ghana flag and a Japan flag. If you come here, don't uh, don't worry. Don't be so much shocked that, oh, why is the Japan flag here? No, no, no. The Japan flag has to be here, okay? I've given you all the details on this project, and that gives you more explanation as to why the Japan flag is over here. Yes, so I love this, guys, and I love the progress. I love what they are doing. I love the fact that the country is developing. At least there is something that is happening here in the country, right? Yeah, something is happening, something so beautiful, something that is worth watching, something that is worth showing out to the world, okay? I always say that we have millions and millions of reasons as to why we have to develop our countries. Whichever Subscribe place you're watching always. me from, Make sure you always like remember East or West, home is always best. So wherever you are, let's take it here, guys, that uh, we need to develop our countries back home. Can I tell you one thing I love with Ghanaians? I love the fact that Ghanaians are really doing the developments by themselves. Like individually, they are doing the development. Uh, what I mean is, like Ghana people don't just depend on the government to come up with a project to develop the country for them. They, are, they have also taken it on their hand and they are doing what they are capable of doing to make the country develop, to make the country look even more better. Yeah, that is one thing I really, really appreciate the Ghanaians for. You go to the biggest hotels, go to these big, big restaurants, just go to um, these big hotels within the country, guys. You are going to find out that most of them are being owned by the people of Ghana, not necessarily the government. I really, really love that. And if you have a reason to do it, if you are capable of developing it, please take it in your hands, develop your country. You are never going to regret that. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys. This is the latest update, and I hope you are loving it. Watch the video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, and I'm still requesting for you guys to subscribe for more content like this. Someone was asking me, why is it that nowadays you just upload like three or four videos in a week, not like before when I used to upload seven videos in a week. It's because, guys, I want to give you quality videos. I am. I have reduced the quantity, but I have improved the quality, okay? So the quality of the video is intact. I'm going to give you better, better quality videos. Yeah, so in a week, I can be uploading three or four videos, but the best updates that you guys are requesting for. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you have watched this far, wow comment down below. Just say, Joyliz, hello, and I'll know you have watched me to this far, which is 13 minutes. Thank you so much, guys. I love you, all of you, and um, I know we are going again to meet in the next episode that is coming up very, very soon, okay? Thank you, um, and also suggest some of the videos that you still want to see on my channel, okay? Thank you. Let's meet again. Bye-bye.